Welcome to the Psoriasis on YouTube channel. We discuss all things psoriasis on this channel. Is there a connection between psoriasis and diabetes? Psoriasis is a skin disorder that is chronic and often painful. But did you realize that psoriasis isn't just a skin disease? Heart disease, inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, and diabetes are all connected to psoriasis. Psoriasis and type 2 diabetes will be discussed here. Continue reading to learn more about the connection between the two and what you can do if you have either psoriasis or diabetes. What's the connection between psoriasis and type 2 diabetes? Psoriasis and type 2 diabetes are both chronic disorders that affect many people. Aside than that, they don't appear to be related. As a result, a link between the two may not be clear. Let's take a look at each one individually first. When blood sugar levels in the body are too high, type 2 diabetes develops. When blood sugar levels in the body are too high, type 2 diabetes develops. This occurs because the body's response to the hormone insulin has deteriorated. Insulin, which is produced by the pancreas, aids the body's usage of blood sugar for energy. Diabetes affects more than 34 million people in the United States. Type 2 diabetes is extremely common, accounting for up to 95% of all diabetics. Psoriasis comes in many forms, but plaque psoriasis is the most common. This type affects more than 80% of patients with psoriasis. Plaque psoriasis is characterized by elevated, red lesions on the skin that are covered with a white scale. Psoriasis affects roughly 3% of Americans, and it affects about 125 million individuals globally. Psoriasis is an autoimmune illness that produces increased inflammation throughout the body. Experts aren't sure what causes it, but it's thought to be an autoimmune disease. The skin and nails change as a result of the inflammation. It can also affect other parts of the body, such as the joints and eyes, psoriatic arthritis. The Connection Psoriasis patients, interestingly, have a higher chance of getting diabetes. According to one study, those with psoriasis have a risk that is about a third higher. People with more severe psoriasis are more at risk than those with less severe psoriasis. According to one study, roughly 115,000 people worldwide will get diabetes each year as a result of their psoriasis. Why are people with psoriasis at increased risk for type 2 diabetes? Experts aren't sure why persons with psoriasis are at such a higher risk. However, they believe it is due to an increase in bodily inflammation. In both psoriasis and diabetes, there are common hereditary reasons that play a role. Insulin resistance is thought to be caused by the inflammation seen in psoriasis, according to scientists. What causes this to happen? The liver produces more sugar, glucose, while the pancreas produces less insulin in an inflammatory environment. Inflammation may also reduce the body's insulin sensitivity. When the body has too much glucose and not enough insulin, blood sugar levels can rise too high, resulting in diabetes. Does everyone with psoriasis get diabetes? No, not every person with psoriasis develops diabetes. In truth, there are numerous risk factors for type 2 diabetes, some of which are beyond our control, such as age, family history, and race. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, and being overweight or obese are all common risk factors. Many of these risk factors are prevalent and can affect both psoriasis patients and non-psoriasis patients. Metabolic syndrome is a term used to describe the combination of certain risk factors. What is metabolic syndrome and how does it affect you? A collection of risk factors known as metabolic syndrome raises the risk of type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Psoriasis patients are more likely to develop metabolic syndrome, just as they are more likely to develop diabetes. According to one study, there is a substantial correlation between the two. As a result, those who suffer from psoriasis are more likely to acquire metabolic syndrome. In persons with more severe psoriasis, this link is likely to be substantially greater. The following are some of the risk factors that contribute to metabolic syndrome. Increased waist circumference, increased fat around the abdomen, blood pressure that is too high, blood sugar levels that are too high, triglyceride levels are high, a type of fat in the blood, HDL, good, cholesterol levels are low. If I have psoriasis, how can I prevent diabetes? As you can see, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and psoriasis have a lot in common. The good news is that if you have psoriasis, you can take steps to improve your health and lower your chance of developing diabetes. Speak with your medical professional. 
discuss the connection between psoriasis, diabetes, and the metabolic syndrome with them. They can help you remain on top of your health by performing routine blood tests to check for diabetes and excessive cholesterol. During office appointments, your blood pressure might be tested. Maintain a healthy lifestyle by eating well and exercising regularly. Avoid smoking and drink in moderation because both might aggravate metabolic syndrome. Psoriasis can be aggravated by smoking and drinking alcohol. There is no unique treatment for people who have both psoriasis and diabetes. However, you can better control your illnesses by following the same healthy practices described above. There's also evidence that treating your psoriasis with immune-suppressing drugs can help you manage your blood sugars. Diabetes medications may also help with psoriasis. These are some of them. Metformin is a drug that is used to treat diabetes, glucophage, rhyomet, Victoza and other GLP-1 agonists. Pioglitazone and other thiazolidinediones, Actose. Is there a connection between psoriasis and type 1 diabetes? Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disorder in which the pancreas is unable to produce insulin. As a result, patients with type 1 diabetes must take insulin to keep their blood sugars under control. There is a link between type 1 diabetes and psoriasis, according to experts. They are both autoimmune disorders that induce inflammation in the body, which is the main link. Both disorders are thought to have a similar origin of inflammation, according to experts. Last but not least. Psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory disease that affects the entire body. This, according to experts, is why people with psoriasis are more likely to develop other diseases such as type 2 diabetes. The good news is that you can take steps to avoid developing type 2 diabetes. Following a healthy lifestyle and contacting your healthcare provider on a regular basis can help you prevent and manage diabetes if you have psoriasis. Thanks for watching Psoriasis on YouTube. Be sure to like, comment, favorite and subscribe this video. Stay tuned for more.